Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist and today I thought I'd do a very quick video on um, the subject of palpitations and something I get asked quite a lot by people. Um, um, and um, this is only a very short video because um, I, I've got to get to work, but um, I'm, I promise I'm going to do some more videos this evening. Now, one of my friends um, who um, <clears throat> met me through Facebook on my York Cardiology page has asked me this question. She says, um, why do the ectopics give the sensation that they're going on in the stomach? And why do I get this sensation that as if my stomach is sinking or I'm dropping down in a lift? Um, and it feels much lower than where the heart is because the heart is over here on the left side and this feeling is in the pit of the stomach. And um, why is that? And uh, a lot of people have asked me that. And also, it is something that causes a lot of people a lot of anxiety as to why do you feel it? It's a very unsettling experience to get this kind of hollowness in the stomach when you get your ectopics. Um, and the answer to this is this, okay? The, the first thing to say is that when you get an ectopic beat, um, your heart is not going to pump as strongly or as effectively as when you don't have an ectopic beat. This is just the nature of ectopic beats. Um, so during that beat, you're not going to get much blood around, okay? And for that period of time, effectively, your heart rate has halved, okay? So, um, you know, yeah, because what happens is you get your normal beat, and then the normal beat, uh, the pacemaker that is beating the normal beat will wait a certain amount of time uh, for its echo to die down and then beat again. So you get boom, 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 boom. Now, what happens with an ectopic is you get boom, boom, and then because this extra beat has come from somewhere else, your pacemaker has to wait for that echo to die down, and then it has to wait much longer, so almost twice the time. So you get this. Okay, so, you, so if you count, if you, if you try and work out the intervals, you'll see that the effective heartbeat for that time has halved uh, because the extra beat is not causing much blood to go around. And the problem with that is that during that time when you're getting that extra beat, not, blood is, not much blood is going around. So there will be less blood going to the brain and therefore people can feel dizzy, okay? Uh, there'll be less blood going to the lungs and therefore people get this kind of gasp gasping of air or air hunger and there's less blood going down to the stomach and that is why you get this sinking feeling in the stomach and it is only very transient and then gets better um, and that is why um, you get this feeling uh, this is of course not dangerous um, it uh, you know uh, different people are different and uh, to a certain extent, it can also depend as to where the ectopic is coming from, as to whether you feel these symptoms or not. But I'll talk about that in another video. So um, I hope you found this little video useful. I'm going to try and keep them really short because um, <laughs> no one watches me for more than five minutes. So um, now, um, I would be really, really grateful if you could consider sharing my videos. This is me. All right. And this is my website. And this is my Facebook page. And this is my secretary's number, Jeanette. All right. So I hope this was useful. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.